Right guys, welcome to a video on how to modify your Chrono F1 basic model so that you can get, with a press of a button, all of the hidden menu functions inside here. Things like shot counts, deviation, averages, the whole lot. Keep watching. Right, YouTubers, uh, welcome to another video. We're outside, it's a glorious day. On this channel, obviously, we do things like air rifle reviews and technology reviews. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the F1 Crony mod that you can do that will turn your bog standard Crony, F1 Crony, into the, the more advanced version. Um, and it gives you things like shot counts, um, your standard deviation, your averages, your highest and your lowest. So, it's a really simple mod to do. Now, as you all know, um, I did the review on the Crony, F1 Crony some time ago, and I'll leave a link up above so you can click that and watch that review. Um, but as I said in that review, this unit is like from the 1960s Soviet um, space race. It is that old um, and it's that simple that um, really there's no protection in here. They've built one very simple basic model and then you can then buy their bolt-on accessories. And seriously, you can turn this thing for the price of a couple of quid, a couple of US dollars, into the next version up to give you those menu features on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the standard crony, how it works in its basic format. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to see this on the other cameras as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna switch this bad boy on and we can see it switched on here. I've got my trusted cricket here. And basically we're just gonna put a couple of shots through it to see how it performs. And we'll make sure we're all lined up. And there we go, we've got the first shot that's went through at 582. We take the second shot. And we got the second shot through at 582 again. But that's it, that's all that this Chrono will do in this format, the standard F1 Chrono. Uh, there's no menu functions, nothing else. You can't recall the shot history or anything like that. So this mod is dead simple. On the side of the standard F1 Crony, if you have a Phono stereo jack on the side, and I'll leave a picture for that, then you can do this mod. And pretty much, if you brought it in the last two to three years, you'll have, you'll have the Phono jack on there. And it's really dead easy. What you need to do is basically get yourself a standard um, stereo three and a half mil jack and a push switch. You don't want a switch that goes clicks on or off. You want a push switch that you can press and hold and press and hold. Nice and simple. And effectively, all you do is you connect the two up, plug it in, and lo and behold, you get all of the menu features on the F1 Crony. Um, I'll leave some pictures around because of I am rubbish at soldering, especially these tiny little wires. So I just gone on eBay and got a molded plastic uh, stereo jack here, and it has three leads coming out. Um, two for the actual stereo parts and one for the sleeve of the phono jack. And I found in my case with this one that I had to connect up uh, the sleeve of the um, of the Phono 3.5mm jack and one of the terminals and I'll, I'll leave a ring as to which one it was that I had to do in mine but it's dead easy to work out, you can work it out yourself uh, to do it, it's just trial and error and all I've done is literally just sold them onto a push switch and I've got a little bit of electrical tape and just wrapped it all up now you can go to town on this if you really want to you can um, go and put it into a project box or anything like that it's quite simple, so all I'm going to do now is switch off my crony and I'm going to plug this stereo jack in I'm gonna see what happens I'm gonna switch it back on um, I've got mine on a nice two to three meter long cable and we'll just put that out of the way and we'll just do exactly the same again we'll take some shots so we'll take a couple of shots so that's the first shot away second shot away We'll do three shots. And the third shot away. So we'll just put the rifle to one side. Okay, so what we've done is we've taken our three shots. Now, all I've got to do is use my press button here. Now, if I press and hold it, it will take me into and display what the next manual option is. When I let go, it takes me into that. And I'm just gonna run through this quite simply. So literally, I'm gonna press it, 
press. This is my sequence number. So this is sequence number one. Uh, this is my first sequence of shots and it will store up to 32 shots. If I press and hold again, my lowest shot was 580. Press and hold again, my highest shot was 584. Press and hold again, my average shot was 582.6. Really, really useful this. Press it again. Um, and then I've got my extreme spread. So my extreme spread from my lowest to my highest was 4.2 feet per second. Press and hold again. The standard deviation is 2.0. Press and hold again. Now it's going to recall the shots. I've got three shots here. Press, hold. My, my final shot was 582. Press and hold again. Second was 584. Press and hold again, 5.80. And then press and hold again, and I'm back to ready to start shooting again. Really, really simple mod. You know, the difference, price difference between the basic model and the next model up, which I think is the Alpha, is quite significant for the sake of three to four quid. Why not do it yourself? Dead simple, dead easy to do that. Now there are more menu systems if you keep pressing and holding and I've yet to work out what they all are but I just wanted to put this really quick video together for you just to show you this simple mod. Now like I said before the parts you can get you can get them on eBay I'll leave some pictures and some links for you to do that. Uh, you just got to work out which of the three wires. Definitely you're going to need the sleeve wire to do it and one of the other two. It's dead easy to do. Plot it in and just hold them until you've got it worked out um, and then you can properly solder them all up. And if you really want to go to town on it, then obviously you can solder your own three and a half mil jack, but I'm rubbish at soldering. I just did it this simple way, dead easy. So hopefully you like this video. Hopefully it's giving you a quick tip on how to turn your Prony F1 standard into the next version up, how to get the menu system all working. As usual, if you like this channel, please subscribe, comments down below. I'll leave some videos up here that might be useful, including the original Crony F1 video that I did there. And um, also tell me, have you done this mod? What do you think? Have you tried it? I know there's loads of people out there that are building their own printers and stuff for that. If you've got any links to those, leave them there below. Um, I'd love to see those as well. So catch you later and I'll see you on the next video.